Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Control. Um, last video we had a very difficult time beating the boss outside of the uh, TV thing. <laughs> um, and then we finally made it to our brother. Uh, he was, he had turned himself in, he's infected by the hiss, but I stopped right when we finally got to him. So I'm really excited to pick up and see what's going on. I honestly don't remember what else happened in the video because that was the biggest thing. And I died a lot and I was getting really angry. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the heck is going on with our brother to finally meet him. Hopefully we get some answers. And I'm not sure if the game is wrapping up soon or not, but it kind of seems like it's headed that way. I have not done any side stuff uh, because I just haven't had time. Um, you'll notice that I am recording in a different space today so this is going to be a temporary location um, and I appreciate you guys being flexible with me as I am in this transition uh, so there might be some kinks with audio and visual and stuff I'm still trying to get my setup figured out uh, but we're working with it we're rolling with it and I appreciate the support you guys have always given me so thank you so much for that um, if you enjoyed the video please make sure you subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one here we go Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, you serious bitch. restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of safe rooms. Great. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? What the heck? I like taking orders from a mall cop. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? She must have her reasons. I need some action, goddammit. All right, lady, relax. All right, sorry, I'm slowly making my way back. I didn't have a checkpoint for where I was before. So. Happiness is your arm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes by pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror inverted is made right. If you're inside by the door, push the fingers through the surface into the way. You've always been in your youth. You want to be true. We stand around you while you train. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Here we go, you guys. I'm scared. Warm through time. Shit. Distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? True? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. Is he in control of it? it? Feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. 
If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangefield! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris. Who's her? You. Oh, Polaris. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide warm. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. The th you are a worm through time. The thunder is to with you. Happiness comes white worms, but yellow and red. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> I'm assuming all those gibberishy things he's saying actually mean something if you can decipher it. But I'm not about to be able to do that. <laughs> They're endangering us by bringing a hissing. Okay, so we need to go to the containment center. Left the block. <laughs> Let's see. Hit my hand. You see that? Ugh. Right on the corner of a cabinet. And it hurts so bad. Also, can you hear my computer like overheating with the microphone? Let's try that. <laughs> It's gonna make it oh <laughs> better or worse.
please. week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. I wonder why. It's like candidates for direction. Yeah. 
like you. Ow! Ow! Cut that shit out! Don't shoot me! Oh god! You. <laughs> okay, so it was recommended that I get rid of... Excuse me. Um... I get rid of some of these mods. Um, to try to pick up some new stuff. level one ones, because I'm not using those anyways. So I don't remember who gave me that feedback, but thank you. I appreciate it. so bad at paying attention to my mods. Shield energy cost. I don't really use that one. Launch energy cost. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize I had to equip different ones. Using controlled burst, pierce is precise with charge shot. Okay, wait. This makes me dizzy. Oh god, so dizzy. It's like a fun house. Oh, I can't. It hurts my brain. Okay, get me out of here. Where are you guys? I literally have a headache now. Ah. Oh, cool, man. 
Set, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> What the fuck? What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. face on his head. Oh god, they're so creepy. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, right, once we catch up with her. But the, the boy, so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Did Dylan kill someone? Dylan has so much. He's, he's just a kid. Like, 
I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Why did he have a creepy serial killer while in the back? Dylan Faden transcript. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me out here. I'm sorry, you both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase, fuck off, numerous times before being sedated. Breakfast is brought, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. Asks for television to be turned on, staff do so. Lunch is brought, breakfast is removed, eats lunch, uses toilet. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. Becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. Sedated. Crew clean the cell. Television is turned off. Comes to ask for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Sleeps? Question mark. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. Hmm. So was he talking to? Um, shoot, what's her name again? The thing in Jesse's head. Agent killed involving codename P6, blunt force injuries of the head and neck, extensive trauma of the abdominal region, lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae, avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs, oh god, left and right, blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities, dislocation of the left and right elbow, dislocation of the left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was cont contorted through his... Ooh, that is not a nice way to go. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow! P7, ooh, yeah, 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 I don't know who this is. Dylan wanted me to see. It doesn't matter. We oh, it's me! find that projector. Oh, hey, girl! Oh, they're stalking us. Interesting. Also, freaking digger coat. Like, I really want one. Just saying. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Is that the coffee shop from Seinfeld? Doesn't it look like it? Let's read our stalker report. Excuse me. Depart Cheyenne. Arrives in Sydney. Departs Sydney. Arrives in Des Moines. Departs Des Moines. Arrives in Chicago. Departs Chicago. Arrives in South Bend. Departs South Bend. I was in Cleveland, depressed Glim. Arrives Bloomberg, depressed Bloomberg, arrived in New York City. So they were stalking us. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. 
We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? There's a lot of questions. Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside what? a painting? You know, stepping into a painting? Into a hidden world? Escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go kick some ass. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. What? What? Why? my best, best skills right there, guys. Jesus Christ. Freaking heart attack, I tell you. God. Okay, let's try this again. And not get blown up this time. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different one, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this the house and being the director just another cell? 
We're going back home. Of course we are. It started there and it... Oops. It's... Sorry. Never. I say sorry and then I do it again. <laughs> Oops. We just missed that little dialogue. It's fine. Apparently I need something from Auntie for this. So, can't do that yet. just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes. Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. So that must have been the start to uh, that other letter about the dead dog. It won't rotate. Something's yeah, because I gotta get shit Gun is
please be all of them. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Sure it did, bitch. Maybe there's a control panel. like it.
right now. The gun is powerful, but man, is it slow. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Blank, Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to the Blank AWE and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector brought there through the New York City subway, I'm sorry, the New York subway tunnel. Special access and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and blah, blah, blah. The plane's back black box is currently being evaluated for blank blank and initial readings have been taken by a research team though no altered status has yet been detected. So it's a plane that looks like a helicopter. Oh I guess its wing is just broken. I see. Alright. Anyways. It's nice and bright in here, I like it. Oh, hello! <laughs> Excuse me, you were in my way. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. No, not dolls, I don't want dolls. The house was empty, no one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. No, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. It was mean, he had asthma. Tom, no, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddie, no, likely Frederick Bartwell, missing. Hugo, none by this name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Extrapolated information, unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. We're getting close, guys. Oops, sorry. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power, slide projector, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Event response. On August 30, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. That was probably terrifying for them. Those poor kids. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. 
What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. So weird. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jessie said that we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Additional slide designated hand is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation dog Neil. Is Neil the hiss? Who is Neil? Come on. Hey! Okay. Well, that was interesting. Did it? Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. I... Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Oh, Dylan, you got anger. Issues, boy. Not that I can blame you. I'm just saying. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna read that because I really just want to get to the slide projector. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. What? 
Weird. slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Ordinary dump site. Alright. Let's go. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No. Dune's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. So is she in like a psychiatric hospital? Who 
moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Ew, it probably smells so bad. Unbelievable. Do I want to go up or down? Okay, take two. the whole right. landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable.
push it out. hate this so much. And why is the save so far away? Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'm not killing these things. Fuck okay. it. I'm just running. Bye! They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. Nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Can I just get this?
We should check that lab. Why are we glitching? He's dead. <sighs> that was so hard because I kept getting stuck on things. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. What happened? Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Dun, dun, dun. we have to stop there uh definitely a bit longer of a video but i wanted to finish that uh fight scene at the end i didn't want to quit part way through uh, and i'm glad i did because it was frustrating but i just wanted to get it done um i am curious to see what's happening i mean clearly he has the hiss in him but it's kind of hard to tell does he control the hiss does his control him are we going to end up having to fight him in some final boss battle? Probably, that's what makes the most sense. Uh, but it kind of seems like he still has some lucid moments, so who knows. Um, but I'm definitely excited to keep playing. The gameplay is getting a lot easier for me. Um, a lot less clunky and a lot more enjoyable. I know I keep saying that every video, but it really is the case. So I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great night.